The protesters arrested after staging a sit-in at Senator Cory Gardner's office are out of jail tonight. They were trying to get Gardner to vote no on the new health care bill. After nearly three days, they were taken away in handcuffs. The activists from the disabled community tell us they already have new plans to get the senator's attention. Our Andrea Flores is live in Denver with the details. Andrea. Well, protesters plan to approach Gardner at the Park Hill 4th of July parade that they say he's scheduled to attend. They hope to meet with him face to face after a sit-in landed them in jail without a chance to talk to him about their concerns over the new health, health bill. Kaylin Heffernan made it to sound check with her band Wheelchair Sports Camp at Denver's Bluebird Theater less than 24 hours after being released from jail. We would rather go to jail than die without Medicaid. She's one of 10 mostly disabled protesters arrested Thursday night after staging a sit-in at Senator Cory Gardner's office. We did everything we could to get Cory Gardner to commit to vote no on any kind of health bill that was going to strip our Medicaid services. They stayed for 58 hours. We complied with all the rules to stay out of the hallway, um, to be respectful, not to, not to be loud. But were eventually forced out by Denver police. I think it was a pretty calculated plan to get us out of there. They later sat in a Denver jail for 30 hours. It's freezing cold. We didn't get our own cells and a place to sleep. For 16 hours. Ten protesters face trespassing charges. Three of them also face interfering with police. Heffernan says the stint in jail won't stop them from putting pressure on the senator. We need you to stand up for disabled people in the state of Colorado. It's life or death for us. And Heffernan says protesters will likely not return to Gardner's office anytime soon because security guards who work the elevator will not let them go up to his floor. We reached out to Gardner's office for a comment before the newscast. We have not heard back from his office yet. All 10 protesters are due back in court next week. Reporting live from Park Hill in Denver, Andrea Flores, CBS 4 News. Thank you.